What's up, guys? Welcome to another local band smokeout. I am your host, is highly most BG, and I'm hanging out with Nico, the man behind the drums of One Morning Left. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar What's with up? them, uh, facebookcom slash One Morning Left. They're out of Finland. They have an album called Hyperactive out, out right now, and uh, we discovered you guys in the show maybe maybe like six months ago, and I can't stop jamming the album since then. It's so good, dude. It's so good. <laughs> I appreciate you joining us today. Uh, how, Thank you. No problem. How and when did the band start? The band has started over ten years ago. Our lead singer, the guy who screams, Mixo, uh, he put it up together. He's the only guy right now with the original lineup. Uh, then there's there's Toko also playing the keyboards. He's he's back now. He's kind of original, but he was out of the band for a while and. The other guys have joined lately, me and Levi, the lead guitarist and a clean vocalist. We joined with him, uh, I have no idea, like maybe seven years ago, <laughs> before just... the Metalcore Superstars came out. Okay, and then it's just been kind of like a, a giant party since then. Um, yeah, yeah, the guys were crushing it like all over <laughs> after the first EP, Panda Loves <laughs> Penguin, and the first album, Preteens, was like, it was gold also. I, I'm also an old fan of the Bree Teens and Wanda Heart that, Penguin. And, so it's like super cool to play with the band right now. And that's that's something I had written down something about Panda Loves Penguin. Was that before yeah. what you're referring to? Yes. Because oh, that was like the original, original stuff. So and you yeah, said, yeah, yeah. That was the first one. And, and Mika was the only one in, involved then at that time. Yes, yes. Okay. And Tolga, the keyboard player, which is now yeah. in Wall 2 with the hyperactive. So, and you're talking about Tuko? Toko. Toko. Yes. What brought him back keyboard to the band? Keyboard player. What brought him back? Yes. Like, what made uh, him come back? I don't know. Time. Time, maybe. Something. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, the, we get some lineup changes after the Metalcore Superstars. Uh, and after that, Mika was had that idea that he asked Togo maybe he would like to join and Togo was like yeah I'm gonna join now and the lineup is also changed and like after Togo joined the band him and Lievi and all, all we got this good connection with us and then it would just blow it off and that's how now we got hyperactive cool uh what does the what does the band name actually mean like what when when they came up with one morning left like what was the thought process behind naming the band that man uh i'm not sure is this true but i have heard this might be true but in finland uh when you're in an army and then you got uh like how many mornings you got left when you can get home so that's like the one morning left is like that before you get before you get drafted kind of a joke on there so <laughs> there's maybe maybe behind something like that i That's have cool. no idea is that true or not i hope it is <laughs> i can dig it uh is is anyone or everyone in the band this is a weed show is anyone in the band yeah. 420 friendly i am excellent that's why i'm probably here <laughs> <laughs> excellent excellent i love it you know what something i find interesting is uh i we review bands from all over the world all the time on the show and I always find it interesting how like bands in different countries record their music in English. And I actually went yeah. and looked and Finland's native language is definitely not English. What, what was the thought process behind doing your music in English instead of in Finnic or something, so a different language? Uh, to be able to be anywhere. You could go there with anywhere. It's this like the, 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 the language, you know? And Finland, if you, if you do it in Finnish, only you can do it inside of Finland. Some bands, metal bands, are trying it, like Europe or something, but it's way harder. It's way harder. So Did I think that's the that's the reason. So everyone had to actually learn English to, to do it, or they were kind of fluent in English already? Uh, in Finland, you we learn English in, high, uh, in school. Oh, OK. Like totally. We started like third grade, second grade, maybe. Cool. I did not know that. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. And then then in Finland, which is like a funny fact, but in lots of Europe, lots of countries in Europe, uh, when they have the TV shows, they have like, uh, how do you say it, like dubbed. They have spoken over it with their okay. original language. But in Finland, the TV shows like Simpsons or like movies, they their original language. So that's how I learn English a lot, watching Simpsons and <laughs> South <awesome>. Park and <laughs> action movies. <laughs> that is cool. That is cool. What's it what's it like working with a rising empire? I see a rising empire is kinda of like out there everywhere lately with tons and tons of material. Yeah, we're we're like we're like brand new with a rising empire but everything since that it's just going like this excellent that is awesome how did how did you guys link up though did, did they find you or did you know someone that knew somebody uh we need to thank our our management nordic cult and ari for doing that kudos to the cult <laughs> we're setting that one up that's awesome yeah, Nordic cult management. Got you. And Nordic Ari cult. Pietila. Uh, what what oh, would you say? Him. What would you say? Hold on, my son is trying to stop by and say hi. Say hi. Say hi real quick. I can't talk right now. What would you say is the hardest song to play live? Like to actually hardest pull off. Hardest song to play live. Hmm. That's a, okay. that's a hard one. Good. That's a hard one. Uh, uh. You mean for hyperactive or the older songs? Just in general, like in a normal set, what is the hardest song? Like, uh, maybe there's a certain note one of the singers have trouble hitting. I don't want to say have trouble, but it's a harder note to hit. Yeah. Or, or there's a solo that's crazy, or there's a drum fill for yourself that's harder to do. Yeah. Well, I think the hyperactive is full of that uh, with with Levi and Mixu and mm. with the guitar. Also, Levi plays guitar and sings the clean vocals, so he he he. <laughs> He he really has some practicing probably to do, and I, he's gonna kill it still. But yeah, there's there's a lot of things like the song called "Ruthless Resistance" is like, for me personally, it's like fucking just fire. The <laughs> yeah. <whole time. laughs> there's no circus, there's no drum stick flips or anything. That's like pure fire. Yeah, you're just playing the whole time. You don't even have time to do the twirlies and stuff. <laughs> what's uh What's every one of the band's bad habits? Bad habits, man. Um, for myself, I think the sodas, like Coke, mm -hmm. maybe the energy drinks, those are my coffee probably is like the basic answer. A lot of guys drink coffee. I don't drink coffee, but the other guys drink. Uh, maybe maybe snooze, you know, snooze. Nicotine products. Yeah, for sure. But pretty small stuff. Pretty small stuff. Hey, what do your what do your knuckles say? I got my knuckles tattooed also. But uh, what do uh, your knuckles say? It's my say? family stuff. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. My favorite song for you guys is "Sinners Are Winners." How and why that was that song written? That song is like, uh, it's like, it's like uh, a little bit like an inside of a joke for the party party type of a culture and when people party and drink all the time and sometimes they drink when they supposed to not drink you know if you have some kind of a mental issues or something or you escape something or you know it's it, getting a little bit hit of that too that it's not the way to go but it's also with a little bit twist of one morning left so it's kind of a banger nice yeah that song is catchy the right? message message is still like you know the partying is not not always the answer Sometimes it is, though. <laughs> uh, you guys have a huge USA following. Uh, any plans to tour here after the... the? I saw Eskimo Cowboys 2022, but I think that's over in Europe. Any plans yeah. to do uh, some stuff in the US? Hopefully, hopefully, yeah. The US is getting harder and harder, which I have heard. I have never been, been there, but uh, like bands from finland other bands who play in the u.s so it's i heard it's harder all the time but i what? hope like it's getting better after covid and with the new president and all that yeah what, what are they like i really hope we could get there like as soon as possible me too be, I, like, dream come true i hope you guys can come too i'm over here in california and i know we'd love to have you 
So, so most bands that, that you know are, that relate back to you, they said, what are their reasons for saying it's hard, mostly because of COVID and, and because of our previous president? Yeah, well, of course, the COVID has has a lot, like super super influence, yeah, all badly in every time of a type of a culture in here. But like, yeah, there was like some kind of a law changes, changes, and the visum, all that kind of a stuff, which is like been been harder. I can't say like sure. I have just heard like it's been some some sort of a reason. It's a harder thing than. And there's also like you need to be really clean. Like, if you you can you can have like any kind of a crime or something if you have committed a crime you can be a problem to get there and all that stuff and it, it's pretty hard but like we don't have anything to criminal to do but you know still like bands have which have been touring before it's been harder for them like they need when they go come there it's like they fly there straight to the first show and then they need to go straight up after the last show back so it's like now no like yeah, any type of time given for the visas. I got you. That's, but that's, I can't say like hundred percent. That's just like talking with the friends. Yeah. So there's not there's not a whole lot of like touristy stuff you can do. You kind of got to just kind of play your gig and then go to the next one. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, what was your first tattoo? And do you have any tattoos you regret? Yeah. <laughs> I, I do. do. I, I do. Regret <laughs> I regret some. I regret some. Yeah uh my first tattoo is is right here it's this these lines and then these numbers they were the first one there's my birth of time there too that was my first one cool i was 17 years old and i gonna ask mom for the permission <laughs> my mom <laughs> she that's, said that's, yes that's a funny story on my 18th birthday my mom took me to go get my first tattoo awesome you gotta have the mom approval <laughs> yeah yeah what kind of movies are you into? I'm into a lot of kind of movies, documentaries. They're great. Uh, then like, like if you get some kind of a fact behind the movie, it's like based on real, real life events or something like that. Those are cool. Mafia movies are always, always one of my favorites. I'm like a big Star Wars. A lot, lots kind of. A... What about uh, what about like horror movies? I'm not into horror movies that much. Gotta bring it. Yeah, I, I was a little kid when the X Files came to TV, so I, I was kind of scared. <laughs> all, the, all the sky fi and yeah, like spooky stuff. aliens and stuff can be creepy sometimes. Yeah, I, I still get chills when I heard the X Files too. <laughs> as the as the stoner of the of the group, what is your go to munchy meal? Ah, go to munchy meal. That's a bad one. Uh, uh, man, a subway, a subway. Nice, good foot long sub. Extra it's also meat. kind of a fresh. <laughs> that's, <laughs> why. that's true. It's kind of fresh. Uh, if you could only take one album to an island, it's the only album you can bring. What album is it? It could be any genre. Mm, man, that's a hard one. I gotta, I gotta think something like good mood stuff. I would love to say Slipknot, but like, that's that that's not like probably the best, best of the happy days. So, <laughs> oh man, it is a tough question. Yeah, yeah, it, it is. It is. Um, for me, I'd. I go back. I, and I, I gotta say, like a dang best of Dango Jones. Of who? I'm sorry. Dango Jones, the Canadian rock and roll band. Okay. Dango Jones. Cool, cool. Does does your does your screamer ever get mistaken for Franz of Attila? Does Miska ever get mistaken for him? Mm, Do you know no. who I'm talking? Do you know who I'm talking about? <laughs> No, I don't. If you look up this band called Attila, uh, yeah. The, the, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. the front man of Attila looks looks similar in the fact that they have shaved heads and tattoos all over. Yeah, and cool. I, I, uh, yeah, Franzi, yeah. Yeah, Franz. Oh, yeah. That, that's why I was just wondering if anyone oh, ever. Franz, yeah, it's Franz. Yeah, not Franz. But yeah, 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 they have the same looks. That's kind of a, uh, I think that's some kind of a hardcore metalcore thing 
they had to get all the. But you know, you well, know, it's it has also good effect. Like if I see a guy like that. He's got to be in a band. Go the street or something. <laughs> He's got to be in a band, yeah. My, yeah. My, would Would you ever get a face tattoo? I know my wife won't. Um, she she said nothing above here for me. But would you Would you uh, ever? Yeah, yeah, I got a mom has said that too. So, I I think I gotta respect my mom so much that maybe maybe. But it, it's the forehead. It's in the is is this in the face? Mm -hmm. Or or the chin? Is it in the face? Yeah, that would be that would be not allowed for me. Mama, Mama would beat <laughs> yeah, me up. Yeah, <laughs> probably, probably. But it's a forehead, not a face. Yeah, I got you. So he doesn't. So he only has it on his forehead. He doesn't have any, just the cheeks. I got you. Because some, sometimes people get them on their cheeks and stuff, like some rappers and stuff. But well, yeah. If uh, it, would you guys ever collab? I know you have some stuff that you've collabed with, but who who is an artist that you would like to maybe consider? for the next material that you maybe have not worked with before? Man, I can't say for for sure. There's a lot of it, and I, I don't like write the material. So, but I, I, I wish we could collab with rappers for the future too. Cool. That would be cool. Is there like one particular rapper that you would, that you would prefer to work with if you had a say? Uh... Can I say anyone? Yeah, whatever, whoever. Oh, well, uh, my dream would be like a yellow wolf. Oh, hell yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah. That would be really, really cool. Uh, what do you do? What do you do in your spare time when you're not, when you're not just uh, working on music? What do you, what's a normal day for yourself? For myself? Uh, I like to go to gym, exercise a lot. Uh, I like to drive a bicycle a lot, do sports. What sports, do you, what sports do you play? Oh, uh, I, I I prefer most for the uh, gym, I think, and then like running or bicycle riding stuff like that. You go by yourself. That kind of a thing. I like that kind of a thing more than uh, like a team team sports or a ball game or whatever. It's my thing is like going alone for a while, like an hour bicycle rides. Great. Hell yeah, I I used to do a bunch of basketball and stuff, but uh. It's it's well, another thing I find odd is like in America, you, you guys call it football, but we call it soccer. Soccer's yeah. really not that popular. I mean, it is, but it's like the fifth or sixth most popular sport in America. But in the rest of the world, it's like the most popular sport. Are you a big soccer fan? Uh, I'm into soccer when it has this like like uh, bigger games, like like the right Euro. Now, it, it just ended uh, the European Championship, like yeah. Italy with that. I like those kind of games, but not like super into like a lot, a lot of my friends are lead singer. I think he watched a lot of soccer. He knows all the leagues and teams and players and stuff like that. But I just go for like the national games. I like those games because they're always entertaining. And before so that's how, yeah. Okay. I only got a couple more for you. Uh, before. Yeah. You were in One Morning Left. Were you Were you in any previous bands? Were you in bands in high school, in school? Yeah, I, I've been uh, in many different kind of bands. Uh, everyone has that first band. And uh, then I've been playing with, with uh, rock and roll bands, metal bands. And then I was playing a few gigs uh, with, uh, with just a party band, you know, playing covers. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I've been playing... Uh, when I joined the One Morning Left, I had been playing with Finnish rappers a few times, and then very I like cool. to play punk rock. Very cool, uh, very a cool. A lot, lot, lot of stuff, but like One Morning Left is like the band I've been searching for. Got gotcha. you. Beer. Well, I'm, we're glad you're in it. Are you a yeah. uh, Are you a gamer at all? You play any video games? Yeah, I like. Uh, yeah, I like PlayStation games. Yeah. What's What's your game of choice? Um, ah, uh, man, I gotta say Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto, still, still. It's, what, it's been I like... still like the five and the old ones. Yeah. Like Vice City and San Andreas, they're just awesome I, games. I think, I think the last I heard, the next Grand Theft Auto 6 is coming out in 2025, which is so far away. That's a long time. So oh, far man. away. Yeah. But There's always coming these, these fake trailers and all that, like... 
Yeah. It's annoying. It's annoying. I fall for I mean, them all you, the time. You can still play the Fair 5. It's still an awesome game. Yeah. Well, Nico, I appreciate you uh, spending some time with me. Uh, one more time at One Morning Left on Facebook. They're out of Finland. We're hanging out with Nico. Nico, if you could do one last thing for me real quick. I uh, have everybody yeah. do this. I'm going to move my little portion that that people can see onto the bottom so I'm hidden. And I'm wondering if you could just do an intro for me. Um, so w what I mean is just introduce yourself, say, uh, mention the band, and just say you're watching local band smoke out. Cool. Yeah. Whenever you're ready. I'm ready. Go for it. Hi, my name is Nico from the band called One Morning Left, and you are watching local band Smoke Out. Dude, that was perfect. I appreciate you spending some time out of your day to do this, man. Yeah, uh, awesome, you guys are awesome. awesome. We're going to keep jamming your stuff. Excited to hear some new material. I know it's probably a little ways away before we get to hear it, but uh, we're looking yeah, forward cool. to it. Send and a link when you when you hit this online so we can like put it on Instagram and Facebook and have a little cool. like, I, it'll share probably, with it. There's hardly any edits to do, so it'll, I'll probably have it on, on the page in about an hour, but I'll, I'll tag the band to make sure that you guys see it. Oh, awesome. Thanks. Cool. Cool. Enjoy the rest of your day, sir, and uh, yeah, thanks, thanks for doing man. this again. Cheers. Thanks.